Hey guys, welcome back to another Swift tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to rotate any view in Swift. So by rotate, I mean like, you know, turn clockwise or anti-clockwise by a certain amount of degrees. So, um, uh, I'll just show you guys how to do it. And there is a bit of maths in it, but it is quite simple actually. So, uh, let me just think of an example. I guess to start off with, we could just use a button and I'll just position it in the center and let's just make this text real big so uh, let's just say rotate me and now let's make it so that this, when you click the button it's going to get rotated so I'll do it rotate button okay so that's all we need oh actually one more thing we need is create a outlet uh, and we'll just call this button right so now the first thing we need to do is we actually need to create a function which will cr um, convert uh, degrees to radians and um, radians are basically just another type of um, uh, what do you call it like um, angle measurement so I'm pretty sure radians go up to 400 and degrees go up to 360 and usually you want to be staying in degrees however um, sometimes for things like this you do need radians so we'll take degrees as a parameter and this will be a CG float and we'll return another float and now to just convert between degrees and radians all you do is you do degrees divided by 180 uh, 0.0 times Pi, which is just cg float dot pi. Um, that will return uh, the certain amount of degrees and radians. All right. So now the next thing we can do is inside of this rotate button. When we click it, we want to rotate it. So to do that, we click button dot transform is equal to cg affine transform and rotation angle. And since this wants a radian degree, we can do convert degrees to radians and for the amount of degrees let's just say 50 degrees so if I run this now and if I click the button you should see that it gets rotated 50 degrees and you'll see it's fine click it and it gets rotated so I wonder if I click it again okay it won't get it won't increase but what we can do is if I create rotation angle and um, we'll set it to 50 at the beginning and every time we will just add 50 to it or maybe I'll do 60 since then it should fit nicely into the 360 which will mean um, oh 60.0 and 60.0 oh, okay let me just convert it to a CG flow here then. Ah. All right. So now, if we run this, you should see if I kick it six times. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that was a bit weird. Maybe it's not working properly. <coughs> but either way, um, you can see that this is how you rotate it. Uh, maybe I'm. It should work six times, but I'm guessing there's something error in the maths, but it's fine. So let's just test if we do 90, it turns completely sideways. Yep, that looks pretty sideways to me. Uh, actually, though, it doesn't... I can't tell, but I don't think that's straight. So maybe you have to account for this, but you can just use a bit of trial and error to find it. But yeah, this is how you rotate views in Swift and I'm pretty sure this does work with pretty much every other view so labels um, buttons so yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial bye